stress free. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty cool to just hang out a little bit and uh, just get some schoolwork done and just really just be a normal student for once. Um, but I'm glad we got a chance to come back out here today and uh, kind of get some work done football wise. So. What was the energy like out here? Having a couple of you know weeks away from it to get back, was everybody on point today? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was surprising really um, to see that nobody was really like slacking off almost. It was really like everyone was pumped up, ready to get back to do some more football stuff. Coach Hintzoff said he wanted the quarterbacks throw in every day while you were off. How did you all kind of stay engaged during that period? We did. I mean, you try, try to throw every day. Not not every single day, but we definitely do uh, most of the days we were off um, just to like stay in tune. Um, with everything and, and not to like fall off at any point. So, how much have you grown, not just over the last month, but from where you started to where we are right now? How would you go through that progression? Um, I, I think I've grown a lot. Um, just, just the, since the first day I got here um, to now, uh, working with Coach Henshaw and Coach Grant um, really got me more uh, football smart in a way, um, with just being able to read defenses and. And, and kind of control it, control the game a little bit better um, and not have so many jitters and stuff like that. Um, so I, I think I've done a lot better um, and grown a lot um, with this offense and with this program just as a football player in general. So. What about physically? Um, I, I definitely grew a lot physically. It may not look like it, but uh, <laughs> I actually definitely grew a lot physically uh, since the first day I got here. I mean, you seem like you're more comfortable throwing the ball. Certainly like that in Louisville game. How has that come along? Um, like, like I said, I mean, it definitely just has progressed. Um, as, as we've gone on, um, especially not, not, not since that first game uh, against Florida. Um, and now <clears throat> going into that Louisville game, really just felt more comfortable with the offense and, and what we could do um, as a team. Are you saying that when Coach Hinshaw went to go get you and recruit you to Kentucky, that he was like a bulldog? Was he aggressive as a recruiter? I mean, did you feel like you, did Kentucky have your attention at that point? They did, yeah. He, he definitely was aggressive. And I mean, it, it was, it was it wasn't aggressive as in uh, like like overbearing, um, but but definitely just as in like he wanted me to be here. Um, but I mean my main thing, uh, recruiting wise, when I was being recruited was I wanted to go somewhere that they wanted me as bad as I need them, um, and I, it could really show with uh, Coach Hinshaw and Coach Brand. Stephen, can you notice a difference on campus around town, just in the way people are kind of perceiving you since that mobile game playing so well and being the momentum of this? Uh, yeah. Definitely, um, guys. I mean, people out here um, really have started growing a little bit more towards the football program. We, we've had tremendous fans throughout um, the season, but but a lot more it seems like now that uh, we're doing pretty well. I mean, it's glad glad to be, to be able to do this and, and uh, attract more people to, to our program. There was a time when Coach Stoops did not want you running the ball at all when you first took over because if you got hurt, then what happens? Did that force you to become a more well-rounded? It did. Um, I mean, just just to be able to to control the game a little bit better um, and not try to just take off when I, uh, whenever I can. Um, just uh, to go through practice with uh, Coach Hinshaw and Coach Grant and actually go through the different progressions uh, really helped out with me. Um, and this offense is just becoming more more pass aggressive. Did the Louisville game do anything to boost your confidence, or was it already pretty high? Uh, I, I think it was pretty high, but I mean, as as an offense, it definitely boosted our confidence. Um, knowing that we could go out there, go up against a number 16 run stop defense um, and be able to do as we wished um, on that field. So definitely it, it boosts our confidence as offense. During this early there. portion of bowl prep, while you all are focusing on yourselves, what are you focusing most on improving about your game? Um, my, uh, my game probably just um, just to go through my reads as normal. Um, but I mean, really just try to focus on the offense as much as I can. Just get everybody back to uh, um, just where we just keep on going from where we stopped at um, and just go move, move forward from here. I think one of the four guys Kentucky. that, that uh, Coach Henshaw talked quite a bit about when he was recruiting you uh, was talking with Doug Williams. What was kind of your relationship like with Doug and what did you learn from him at Grambling? Me and Coach Williams, we had, I mean, we had a great relationship. Um, definitely saw him as, as the second father while I was there. Um, so I mean, um, at, at Grambling, he's just, uh, he was a tremendous head coach. Um, so I mean, he's just a great guy, um, learned a lot from him.